All rise, court is in session. The Antioch High School Juvenile Court, that is. In tonight's Youth Patrol School Patrol, we meet the newest and youngest members of the Davidson County Court's Justice System Youth Court. I'm very excited. This is my first time doing this. Antioch High School Library. If we can have everyone to go ahead and take your seat. Is anything but quiet today. We're here for the youth court and we're getting sworn in. The spotlight was on 26 students. Our duties are gonna be like jury, defense attorney, a prosecuting attorney, and we have a bailiff that's gonna, you know, direct the court in some kind of way. Who are technically members of Metro's juvenile youth court system. The decisions they make affect the lives of their peers into the future. The youth court program offers a juvenile first offender a second chance an opportunity to turn to the correct path. Do you each solemnly swear that you will be faithful and true? It's a program that allows this select group of students and that you will faithfully execute to be judge and jury for fellow students in trouble. To the best of your ability as a member of the Antioch High School Youth Court. There'll be students that will represent them. There'll be a set of students to represent the victim or the state as there's prosecutors. They'll have a clerk that will be the keeper of the record while we're doing the hearing. Learning like, you know, the different objections, the different rules, learning why they're there, and it's a definitely a big eye-opening experience, you know, knowing what day-by-day -day lawyers really have to go to. This is what people go to school for, they study for years for. We don't punish, but we use restorative justice. We're just trying to make sure that they become re-involved with the community, because statistics show that someone who's more involved with the community or their school will be less likely to re-offend. Not everybody gets this experience. Jasmine Tejeda. My mom didn't understand something in English, I would interpret it for her. Has a special responsibility. And I went to the office and I found out how many kids don't speak English here and it's 139. If there's ever a need for interpreters, we'll have them act as interpreters as well. I jumped on top of it very fast. She's the court's interpreter. They teach you what you can do and what you can't do, what like what words they'll be using a lot and what words, you know, you can't say at all. I have been wanting to do this since I was little, like I said, and I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Do you also solemnly swear students will soon get their first case that you will not divulge? They say they welcome it. We're going to make mistakes by written or spoken language so we can't really process situations as adults would in the course of a teen court trial. So we have to take each case and assess it individually in the Antioch High School Youth Court of Davidson County. I do. The members of the Antioch High School Youth Court are sworn not to reveal details of their cases outside of the courtroom.